Hey there, this will be a video on how to set up your SPF record in your cold email DNS. So there's four different records that you might want to set up. I'm going to break them down into separate videos just to keep them short and easy to find in terms of title. But they are the DKIM, the DMARC, the SPF, and the tracking domain, which is optional, but some people like it, some people don't. So these are all records that we have to add because they will vastly improve the deliverability of our emails. They'll make a much larger percentage of emails go to their inbox instead of their spam or promotions tab. So let's get started. It should be noted that this is a video on how to do it with GoDaddy and Microsoft 365. If you're using Google Workspace, Google Domains, Gmail, it might be a bit different, but the steps are always going to be the same. So right here I pulled up how to add an SPF record in GoDaddy.com with their help article. So all I was looking for is to actually find the SPF record. The nice thing about the SPF record is it's going to be the same for every single domain. You might have 10 cold email domains, you might have 20 or 30, it all depends on how many emails you want to send per day. With one domain you can send 25 to 50 per day depending on how aggressive you want to be. And this is nice because if you buy 10 domains, you can spend 250 to 500 instead. That's basically how it works. More domains is more sends. So let's go here and copy this record, and I'll put it in the description of this video. But again, if you're not using Microsoft 365 and GoDaddy, it might be the wrong record. So do your own kind of, if you're using Google, type in how to find the record for Google. So we want to go to our DNS here. And I have already added it in there, so let me delete it. I have 60secondnutrition.com here, which is just a random domain I own. Don't really think anything into that. It doesn't really matter. So what you want to do is add a new record and take a TXT. In the name here, we want to put an at symbol, and that's basically a placeholder that means nothing. On certain registrars and certain sites that are not GoDaddy, you might just not put anything there at all. It all depends on what they ask for, but it basically means nothing. It's just a placeholder because it needs a record. And then in our value, we want to put our SPF record, just copy and paste, and for our TTL, just leave it to whatever it says originally. Whatever, we don't need to change anything there. Once we have this done, we can click Save. And it says it should be up within 48 hours, but usually much quicker than that. As we can see, our TXT record is there and it's done properly. And then let's go back to our thing here. So that is how to do the SPF record and I'm going to make separate videos on the DKIM and the DMARC record because they're a bit more complex, especially the DKIM. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.